Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. Today, we're going shopping. We're going fabric shopping. Last time I did this, you guys really liked it. And we are going fabric shopping for a good few projects today. Get excited because we are going to be at Joann's for a while. Filming the intro in the car because last time I talked too long, Joann's, some old ladies were staring at me like this. which we'll probably get again today. But anyways, let's talk about what I'm buying fabric for. So I'll move over here so you can see on the screen. So first off, we are buying fabric, hopefully. Hopefully this is not the essential, but this would be definitely a nice to have. We are buying fabric for my engagement dress. If you did not know, I am recently engaged. We are having our engagement party the last day of April. Are there 30 days in April? I think so, maybe 31. I'm pretty sure there's 30. We're having our party on the 30th of April. And the dress code is casual. Obviously, I will not be being casual. No, no, no. I will be dressed like a freaking princess. It is my day, as it is Cody's as well. But so this is the look I have right now. Obviously, this is sketched with like a silk satin in mind. Doesn't need to be silk. I oftentimes do to work with silk because it's expensive. I am thinking though that is a little too much because I do want to wear like sneakers like my white sneakers and a satin dress just i don't think really belongs to sneakers i feel like if i get more of like a crepe or like a rayon a lightweight fabric then we could put some sneakers on so i'm just gonna go into the store i'm gonna feel some things pick it up put them between my fingers and then we can make a decision on the design and the fabric because i'm not set on this design just quickly sketches in like 10 minutes so i do think i want a mini dress though because i'm young and yeah <laughs> next we definitely need to get this i am going to put out a really basic pattern i'm not doing a video on it because it's that basic it's literally sewing like two seams a hem and an elastic it's done i'm gonna put a pattern out for a midi skirt like a bias cut midi skirt just because um they already have those out there but my customers and my followers trust me it seems so i'm gonna put one out there and see how it goes easy peasy lemon squeezy so i need to get a like satiny fun printed fabric i want printed because solids are boring especially for this boring skirt so i want to get some type of satin woven printed fabric and i'm gonna put that out at some point probably not soon so don't get excited within a month oh my god i'm sweating in my car I'm gonna sweat through this dress it's like 80 degrees out and the ac's not on oh my god third thing and oh wait this is the most important thing this is why i'm going think kiana the third thing is for a bridgerton inspired corset i feel like that video is probably already out before this so you've probably already seen it or have you probably though so i want to get like a satiny i want to get like a brocade because that screams bridgerton to me that kind of fabric um brocades are actually too thick for what i'm thinking of but like i want that like style like that kind of pattern do you know what i'm saying it needs to be satin that's all i know actually i'm not sure florals something fun something bridgerton-y i'm not making something historically accurate but i am making something pretty i'm gonna put my grimy little fingers on all the fabric and yeah let's go off we go okay i'm here at joann's now and i think i've hit the jackpot okay right here spring gallerita fashion apparel fabrics 30 percent off and all of these are a beautiful charmeuse and none of them stretch which is great for a bias cut skirt remember i was talking about that midi length bias cut skirts um i don't know how i feel about some of these prints but i think they'd be really cute for spring like this is fun this print might be too big not good for bias cut Ooh, i really like this watercolor oh i like this as well i also like the plain i think plain is kind of boring i think i want to go with either this or this in the cart first okay my pile for the midi skirt grew plus don't even acknowledge this i saw this it had sparkles on it and i thought of my engagement dress and i just put it in there um for now we are in the cotton area because i'm choosing for the corset i know i said i wanted like a satin or like brocade for the corset but i was just thinking i'm using a more affordable sewing machine i don't know if it can quite handle that 
I think I can personally handle it with the sewing machine, but I want to be safer than sorry. Plus, I can't find the brocade, so I don't know if they have that here. So I'm just getting caught in. Here's what we have so far. Um, when choosing the fabric for a corset, which has, this is a corset, not a stay that I'm making, um, unless I change my mind. I don't know. I haven't come up with anything yet. I need the pattern to be very very small a little ditzy print because with all of the seams if the pattern is large it's gonna look not lined up and it's gonna look messy so if you want something with a print which i did stick to something more dialed down like a background ditzy print so i have this green and then i have it's not the same actually it looks very similar but basically the same and a cream which i like this because it looks like the corsets that they actually wear under their dresses but if i'm making something for a more fashion related thing instead of historical i'm gonna go with the green you know what i'm saying so even though this is gorge oh i don't know i love neutrals it's going back in the cart i had this but even this print which it's small it's kind of large still so i'm gonna take that out and then lastly i have this blue which I don't like this blue because it's just blue and white. Um, the cream is cream and white, but then this has like a deeper green in it as well. So it gives it more depth. It's a little bit more exciting. It looks a little bit more expensive. So I'm going to get rid of this too and just keep the green and the cream for now. Okay, I was in the trim section looking for something to lace up my corset. But then I came across these little lace trims. Oh my gosh, pleated with the edge. How gorgeous are these? And I was thinking, engagement dress. So this is something to keep in mind because sometimes you see something and it speaks to you, like this at the edge of a hem or the edge of a sleeve. <gasps> Fabulous. Okay, the corset is getting chaotic. I have a lot of options and I think we need to talk through it. Okay, I decided I'm definitely gonna go with this green instead of the cream because the green is just flipping gorgeous i love this color first decision we have to make bias tape so first of all i was just gonna do like my plain little um cream color i like the contrast of it i like how it's a soft ivory not a white with this it's very like earthy um but then i decided it would probably be better to do a thicker bias tape just because it like adds a little bit more it's a little bit more exciting the curve of my corset I don't think it's going to be too intense. Like, I think I'll be able to use this. But then, I didn't even know they made this. It's gold metallic bias tape. Imagine. That's so cute. And then I'm going to have gold eyelets going down the back. Really cute. But then I was like, are we veering into superhero territory? You know, it's a little bit gimmicky. I said, yes, I think it is. So right now, I'm set on this. But I love the gold and I think it would be fun to do a faux like bunch of buttons down the front, gold buttons, like a lace up back and then just faux buttons on the front that I just kind of stitch on there. I found these hearts, which I have at home. I think I have like one left. I've used these before. I think I've also used these before, um, but these are the last ones. How freaking gorgeous are these? They have the gold in them for the eyelets and the cream in them for the, what is it called? What is this called? Bias tape. So it like kind of brings it all together, but they don't have enough. So I need to go to plan B, which, hold on, let me go around and get them. Plan B is to buy a bunch of these little buttons because I think this would look cute going down the center front. I don't know though, because I feel like the gold would get lost in this green without any white to make it pop. You know what I'm saying? People don't understand me. You guys understand me. And then we need to also figure out what ribbon do I want to use? Usually I use like a satin string. This time I think it'd be more fun to use a ribbon, kind of add some volume to it. So I have this green that matches perfectly, but I also have this cream color, which I'm leaning to because it brings in the bias tape. I don't know. Okay, I just cut out my fabric. I actually have to go now because I've been meeting at four o'clock and it's 3.30. I need to go home and grab some things first. Um, but I did not get to pick out my fabric for the engagement dress. It took me a while to figure out the corset because I'm so picky and I have so much fun doing this. But before I go, before I leave Joanne's, I want to show you some options that I'm freaking out about. Okay, so here is their little bridal selection. 
right away my my eyes were drawn to this stretch satin with the little pinstripes how cute is this it has stretch too so that would be great for the original design i created i also somehow feel like this makes it more casual the stripes super cute i really like that then i was drawn to these white sequins I love sequins. Obviously, it's see-through, so it'd need a lining. Um, and I almost feel like going super, like, fancy. I know I said the silk satin was kind of too fancy because I wanted to wear sneakers, but I feel like going even fancier and then pairing it with sneakers is almost better than going, like, midway fancy. You know what I'm saying? Also, they have these sequins, too, but this is stretch. Gorgeous. Then I saw this tool with these beads oh my gosh that is gorgeous these are all like super expensive too i love the glitter they have glitter tool over in the other section you also saw the glitter tool from earlier they have multiple glitter options i'm not a lace girl so no but i am a power mesh girl and i love these little polka dots and this power mesh i think it'd be so cute for an overlay and then of course they have all of these satins and crepes but i'm so excited about these more fun materials so i'll have to come back <sighs> okay guys i am back from the store it's the next day and i want to show you guys what i actually decided on because i made a few different decisions i have not got the engagement dress outfit so we'll go back out and get that but let me show you what i got for now because I'm excited and I'm about to start making some things. So first off, for the midi skirt, I decided to go with this one, which was not one of the original decisions or original ideas, but I posted on Instagram, on my Instagram stories, and I let you guys decide and you really liked this one. It's like this purple and white kind of, I don't know what kind of wash you would even call this. I mean, it just looks like splotchy watercolor. It's charmeuse woven. Um, so it's gonna go really well for a bias cut skirt But yeah, if you don't follow me on Instagram Make sure you follow me so that you guys can be part of those design decisions because I did Listen to you guys this time. I don't always <laughs> and then for the Corset I decided to get this green fabric with that ditzy pattern This is the one you already knew about so nothing new there and then here's where I need to update you guys First off, we knew I had a whole conundrum with the buttons. I could not figure out what to do. So I decided to get these gold ones to put all the way down the front of the corset. But this was kind of boring if I did the whole thing with just this. And you know I wanted those heart buttons with the cream and gold just to tie everything together. But then I found these. These little bow buttons. How? Flippin' cute are these? These are like a little enamel pin buttons. Gorgeous. I'm freaking obsessed. My plan is to put one at the very top and one at the very bottom, and then the middle is going to have all these gold buttons. But literally, tell me this is not perfect. Because the corset is gonna go like this, and then I'll... my vision, my vision is strong. Hopefully we can execute. I got matching thread, even though. I totally have matching thread already. I'm looking at my thread wall, but I don't have a lot of it. I have the exact same color as this, I think, but I have a small spool, so. I got a big one. Also got, oh my God, why did I get this? I got this, I didn't put it back because I meant to only get the extra wide double fold cream bias tape, but it seems I got the thin one as well, which I only meant to get the double one, but it's fine because I go through bias tape and I'm sure I will use this in the future or I could return it, we'll see. Then I got this cream colored ribbon to lace it up. And then lastly, I got more boning. I hate this boning. Sorry to Dritz featherweight boning. I use it all the freaking time for not liking it very much. I much prefer like Spiral Seal or Joanne also has a, another boning by Dritz. Um, the casing is a little bit wider and easier to sew. This is kind of hard to catch the casing in just the right way. So I don't love this, but it's what they had. And I already have another pack of this here. So I got an additional pack just in case I ran out of the other one. Anyways, that's what I got. Let's go back and get the supplies for my engagement dress. Off we go.
El Mayo, off we do not go. <laughs> we are not going back to shop. I'm editing this video right now. We're already at 15 minutes and I know if we include the engagement shopping fabric, the engagement fabric shopping in this, it's gonna be a 30 minute video because um, you know, I'm gonna go through like literally every fabric and design that I can to, to figure this out. Um, and so I think we're gonna make that a separate video. I think I'll do an engagement dress shopping video or an engagement dress fabric shopping and design video and then making my engagement dress because <laughs> it's too much. Anyways though. Ooh, question of the day. Let me know out of the engagement dress fabrics that I showed you earlier, which one you like the best so that I know you got to the end of the video and so that I can get your help. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys did like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up because it is the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. Make sure you subscribe and have that notification bell turned on so that you can see me very, very soon pop up on your YouTube feed. Anyways, I think that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.